So, you've downloaded Blender, maybe made your first donut, or maybe you're deep in sculpting characters or animating scenes, and now you're wondering, is my computer gonna melt if I hit render? In this video, we're breaking down exactly what kind of computer you need to run Blender smoothly in 2025. We'll talk desktops, laptops, rebuilds, upgrades, and how to get the best performance for your budget. Whether you're just starting or you're going full Hollywood with smoke sims and explosions, let's get into it. Section one, desktop versus laptop. All right, if you want raw power and the most performance per dollar, go with a desktop. Bigger parts, better cooling, and you can upgrade it over time. But if you're on the move, work in cafes, or don't have space for a giant PC tower, laptops have come a long way. You can get an RTX 4060 or 4070 laptop with fast SSDs and solid screens that'll run Blender really well. So here's the rule of thumb. Desktops equals best performance for the price. Laptops, convenience and portability, but a bit pricier for the same specs. Section two, CPU, the Blender brain. The CPU is Blender's brain. It handles geometry nodes, modifiers, physics sims, and sometimes rendering if you're using the CPU version of Cycles. So what should you look for? Low-end CPUs, Ryzen 3 or Intel i3, good for basic modeling and learning, but will start to struggle with complex scenes. Mid-range CPUs, Ryzen 5 or 7, Intel i5 or i7. These are perfect for most artists, smooth viewport, decent sim times, fast renders. Ryzen 9 or Intel i9, these are for heavy-duty tasks like VFX, crowd sims, and professional-level rendering. More cores, better rendering. Faster single core, smoother viewport, and sculpting. Aim for both if you can. GPU, your render engine, the graphics card. If you're using cycles with GPU rendering, this is the most important part. Entry level, GTX 1660, RTX 3050, or AMD RX 6600. Good for beginners and smaller scenes. Mid-range, RTX 4060, 4070, or AMD RX 7800 XT. These can handle serious projects and larger renders. High-end, RTX 4090. If you want the fastest renders possible, this is your beast. And yes, you can mix AMD CPUs with NVIDIA GPUs. That combo actually works great in Blender. Also, with, with Blender switching to Vulkan, AMD GPUs will perform even better in the future. So both brands are good choices now. Section four, RAM, stability, and multitasking. Blender loves RAM. You don't need a crazy amount, but running out of RAM is a fast track to crashes. 16 gets is the bare minimum. You'll get by with smaller projects. 32 gigabit is the sweet spot. Great for larger scenes, sculpting, baking, and multitasking. 64 GB plus is for power users doing high-res VFX, simulations, or working across multiple apps. If you're experiencing crashes during baking or large scenes, this is probably the issue. Section five, storage. Storage seems boring until you realize how much time you waste waiting for stuff to load. An NVMe SSD. It'll make Blender feel snappier, scenes will load faster, bakes will write quicker. Minimum 500 GB NVMe SSD. Recommended one terabytes or more. Add a second HDD if you want cheap backup storage. Trust me, even viewport performance feels smoother when your drive isn't choking on textures. Section six, power and cooling, super underrated. Power supply. Get at least 650 watts if you're using a mid-range GPU. For RTX 4090, go 850 watts or higher. Look for 80 plus gold or better. Cooling. Stock CPU coolers are fine for basic builds, but if you're rendering a lot, consider an aftermarket air cooler or an AIO liquid cooler. Also, make sure your case has good airflow. One fan in, one fan out, it makes a difference. Laptops, what to look for. If you're shopping for a laptop, here's your Blender checklist. GPU, RTX 3060 or higher. CUDA and OptiX help a lot. Ryzen 7 or Intel i7 at minimum. RAM 16 to 32 gigabytes, bonus points if it's upgradable. Storage, NVMe SSD. Don't settle for anything else. Look at laptops like Asus Raji Zephyrus, Lenovo Legion, or MSI Creator Series. Even MacBooks with M3 chips are decent, but just know they don't support CUDA or OptiX, so Cycles renders will be slower. Section eight, rebuilds and upgrades. Already got a PC? You might not need a new one, just a smarter one. Here's where to start. Rendering slow? Upgrade your GPU. Crashing during scenes? Add more RAM. Viewport lag? Check if your CPU or GPU is the bottleneck. Loading takes forever? Switch to an SSD. You can reuse your case, fans, sometimes even your power supply. A simple rebuild might cost you half of what a new PC would. Section nine, budget breakdown. 
Let's talk money. What can you get at different price levels? What you can expect. $800, starter build. GTX 1660, RTX 3050, Ryzen 5, 16 gigabytes RAM, great for learning. 2000, mid-range beast, RTX 4060, 4070, Ryzen 7, 32 gigabyte RAM, ideal for most Blender artists. 3000 plus, high-end workstation. RTX 4090, Ryzen 9 or i9, 64 gigabyte plus RAM, built for studios and pros. You don't need to max everything out, but know what you're getting for your money. Section 10, want faster renders? So what should you upgrade first if you want faster renders? If you're using GPU rendering, the GPU is your number one priority. Upgrading to something like a 4080 or 4090 will massively speed things up. RAM helps if you're running out and crashing, but once you've got enough, say 32 gigabytes, more won't make renders faster. The CPU helps with simulations, physics, and viewport lag, especially if you're using a lot of geometry nodes or modifiers. So yeah, balance is key, but GPU first if speed is your goal. And here's the best part. Building a good Blender machine also means you're ready for a ton of other stuff. Houdini loves a strong CPU and tons of RAM. Unreal Engine demands a powerful GPU. Video editing, you're golden. Gaming, oh yeah, you're covered there too. Basically, this setup isn't just for 3D work. It's a full-on creative powerhouse. Whether you're rendering short films or launching games, you're good to go. Don't forget good cooling, power, and a fast SSD. Whether you're building a new rig, upgrading your current one, or shopping for a laptop, there's a setup that fits your budget and workflow. Let me know in the comments what setup you're using or planning to build. If you want me to do a full PC build guide, laptop comparisons, or real-world Blender benchmarks, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.